So in the GoPro preferences, if you go into general and then scroll down to compression, you'll have the two options here between H.264 plus HEVC or just HEVC. And you'll notice on this one it says use HEVC to reduce file sizes. Be sure your other devices are compatible. So HEVC stands for High Efficiency Video Coding and it's this new coding software that's come out that means the file size is going to be smaller and it's just generally a better thing for videos. I'm not going to go into too much detail why, plenty of videos that will explain this in much better detail than I ever will. However, it's not very widespread yet and unless you're using a premium uh, video editing software i.e. Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro, it's probably not going to be supported yet. So in this video I'm just going to sh quickly show you guys how to get around this. So to get started you're going to want to go ahead and download Virtual Dub, which is this video processing utility that I've been using. It's completely free. Um, you can just Google it, go onto this website, and then when you open it up it's going to look like this. So before we get started we're just going to need to change some settings. You're going to go onto Video, Compression, and under GoPro Cineform, Configure, you want it on the 10-bit, 10-bit, and then you can have this quality wherever you fancy. Um, honestly, film scan 1 is probably overkill. Uh, the lower quality you have it on, the smaller the file size will be, and up here is the highest file size. So I'll just leave it at that. Okay and you want to make sure that the audio is on full processing mode as well. After that you go ahead and import the file that you want to use which is this one and then you're going to go file export save old format and what that's going to do is export this file And then when it's done, you can import the clip into HitFilm Express or whatever you use. And you'll see that it says 239 frames per second. Now when you put it on the timeline, it's just going to play at regular speed. And if you want, you can slow this down. And then it's going to play at a normal frame rate, 24 frames per second, or in this case, 23.9 and you're going to get the proper slow-mo. So if you go onto the GoPro website, you can see which video resolutions and frame rates will use HEVC. The notable ones are 4K 60 frames per second and 1080p 240 frames per second. Of course, if you've got it in HEVC only, then it will only record in that format. So you'll have smaller file sizes, but just beware that it might not be compatible with everything.